Hey everyone. Very little video on Israel and Palestine. So Palestine is asking the UN basically for a statehood, or at least I believe the first step would be observer status, and then that would be like moving towards statehood. Um, and the US has said they're going to veto it, and Palestine should return to the negotiating table. Now Palestine has been at the negotiating table for quite a long time. Um, and the problem with this negotiating table is Palestine really has nothing that Israel wants in my opinion I mean I guess they could say they're going to let Israeli tanks stand at every road crossing maybe that would make Israel happy but aside from that you know what else could they want really I mean especially Abbas has been curtailing terrorism to a very large extent um, and if you look at the deaths, of course, every death is tragic and a terrible thing. But there's certainly not deaths on the scope of a war. I mean, if you just look at Mexico internally and the kind of drug wars that far exceeds in scale and death anything that Palestine has been throwing or that certain Palestinian terrorist groups have been throwing at Israel. So, no. Israel just isn't interested in Palestine having a state and they're not going to do it. So Palestine's supposed to sit at the table forever and Israel's supposed to keep saying, well, as long as there's anyone a at any time that ever might do anything to us, we're not going to give you statehood. The problem here is statehood should not even be a bargaining chip. Statehood is something that's guaranteed to people, a, a, a nationality um, is guaranteed to people by international law. If you're born a Palestinian, you don't have a, a real nationality. That's illegal and crazy. It's not just illegal. I mean, that international law, okay, maybe a lot of international law is not good. A lot of international law I don't agree with. But this, to me, is obvious. It's one thing if you're part of a different nation and you want to secede. I mean, if you happen to be sitting on like a gold miner, you're like, oh, I'm seceded now. I don't have to pay taxes or give the government any of my gold. That's one thing. But the Palestinians are not seceding from anyone. They're already there and they're already independent. They're just not being allowed to be a state. And that's ridiculous. Uh, they should be allowed statehood right at this very moment. And that should be the last of it. And then, you know, we have to enter drawn out negotiations about um, how exactly Israel and Palestine can swap land in order to guarantee Israel's security and territorial integrity and Palestine's due recompense for um, any lands that Israel may um, take for that purpose and that has to be managed by not just the US and Israel because the US and Israel have been sitting at this negotiating table with Palestine for a long long time now and have done absolutely nothing I mean and if you look at the numbers it's just obvious which side is suffering disproportionately more um, so that's my take on that um, also I'm not an anti-semite and I support Israel's right to exist. Um, I am pro I'm not a fan of how it came about. If I'd been there at the time, then I would have said, that's not really right. You can't just take that land and give it to someone else. There's people on there. Um, but that's how history played out. Now, Israelis have been born on that land. It's really their home. They don't know any other place. Um, I don't I don't think you can take away Israel's right to exist I think Israel should have that continued right and it needs to be totally protected by the international community and the international community cannot let um, Israel be destroyed um, but at the same time it also cannot let the Palestinian people suffer what is just a continued being held hostage uh, in a silly process of degradation um, which seems to merely be there to uh, to satisfy the 
desires of certain extreme right-wing elements in both Israel and the U.S. Church of SCFU, I'll see you guys all later.